The day after one person died and more than a hundred were hurt in clashes, Venezuelans were back on the streets Wednesday. The people have listened to the man they considered be their president, Juan Guaido, and turned out here in Caracas in their thousands, perhaps not in the numbers he might have liked to see. Guaido considered yesterday's protest the beginning of the end for President Nicolas Maduro, but as has been the case for months now, Mr Maduro showing no signs of going anywhere. And in the light of day, Guaido acknowledged there just aren't enough anti-Maduro military defectors to provide a tipping point. And it was Mr Maduro who claimed victory. On the streets, defiant and long-suffering Venezuelans saying that tipping point will come. Maduro's time is over. It's time for him to go. But he's not going anywhere. Uh, I, I, there's still time. You know, Guaido has got his program. It's, it's going to take some time, but we're going to be here forever. How long will you keep doing this? Keep yeah. be here. Well, until, I know, <laughs> 10 years, I know. As the day wore on, the numbers steadily built here and in other places around the city, indeed the country. Preparations here, Molotov cocktails for the violence that would inevitably come. It's a familiar script. The protesters are just outside a military base. They're throwing rocks and security forces firing tear gas. Plenty of it. Along with the tear gas, the sound of shots fired, rubber bullets or live fire, it was difficult to tell, though one medical team leader said among the injuries treated, bullet wounds. Gunshot. Rubber bullet or no, no, live round? But round uh, shot uh, from yeah. fire. There's continued determination among these people to see this through, and they say they will be back until Nicolas Maduro is gone. But he's not yet, and while the military continues to support him, his position seems intact for now. Michael Holmes, CNN, Caracas, Venezuela.